Hello friends and my dear students, welcome back to my YouTube channel SS Pediatrics. So today I am here with my another topic of pediatric nursing which is Apispedias. You can also uh, say it as a Apispediasis or this is our genito-urinary congenital anomalies ka ek topic. Hai. So in today's lecture, I will Apispedias discuss karongi. next video lecture, Hypospedias. Apispedias kya hai? Uh, it is a rare congenital anomaly of, uh, which involves the opening of the urethra ka jo opening hai usme basically yahan pe ek defect arise hota hai urethra kya hai hamare paas bladder ke baad jo urine hai wo uh, exit karta hai towards the urethra aur uske baad fir body se excrete hoga through the uh, hamara jo urinary tract ke beyond so yahan pe kya hoga in case of male agar hum dekhte hain so in case of apispedias uh, the opening of the urethra is on the top of the penis rather than on the tip of the penis so, इसी के बारे में in detail में आपको आज lecture में बताऊंगी कि क्या है, कैसे होता है और कैसे हम इसे जो है वो later on जाके uh, treat कर सकते हैं. So, let's start with the topic, Apispedias. Start with the topic, Apispediasis. Apispediasis is a congenital malformation in which the opening of the urethra is on the dorsum of the penis as I already explained in the introduction. Uh, it is a very rare congenital abnormality that involves the opening of the urethra ka ek ab congenital abnormality hai and urethra is the tube from which the urine exit from the bladder and uh, in boys with apispediasis the urethra generally opens on the top or the side of the penis rather than the tip agar tip se opening hoti then that is it in a normal uh, con condition mein hoga but in case of apispediasis the urethra generally opens on the top or the side of the penis However, it is possible for the urethra to be open along the entire length of the penis and in girls, the opening is usually between the clitoris and labia but maybe in the belly area also. Incidence apispadiasis occurs in 1 in 1,17,000 newborn boys and 1 in 4,84,000 newborn girls. Causes unknown and uh, it may be related to the improper development of the pubic bone failure of abdominal and pelvic fusion in the first month of embryogenesis jab ek embryo ka development hota hai to form a fetus inside the mother womb to us time pe agar jo hai wo abdominal uh, and pelvic fusion ka failure ho jata hai then that may lead to the apispediasis and apispediasis can be associated with bladder extrophy and uh, Uncommon uh, bladder extrophy is an uncommon birth defect in which the bladder is inside out and sticks through the abdominal wall. Uh, later on, uh, in our video lecture, I will explain about bladder extrophy. Ke mein. And uh, it also occurs with the other defects. Classification ke agar hum baat kare, classification of apispadiasis is based on the location of the meters, the penis. It can be positioned uh, that is on the glass and uh, along the shaft of the penis and near the pubic bone so uh, location jo hai uske upar depend karta hai classification ka so the position of the meters is important because it predicts the degree to which the bladder can store the urine and the closer the meters is to the base of the penis the more likely the bladder will not hold the urine symptoms in male abnormal opening from the joint between the pubic bones to the area above the tip of the penis and a backward flow of urine into the kidney uh, that is uh, known as reflux nephropathy and short widened penis with an abnormal curvature uh, hum observe karenge cheez and uh, urinary tract infection ki problem ho sakti hai along with the widened pubic bone in case of females abnormal clitoris and labia abnormal opening where the uh, from the bladder neck to the area above the normal urethral opening and a backward flow of urine into the kidney and a widened pubic bone urinary incontinence and urinary tract infection diagnostic measures hum kaise uh, identify karenge that uh, this is uh, known as uh, apispadiasis ka case hai ye to isme hum prenatal diagnosis 
के थ्रू तो रेयरली ही आइडेंटिफाई कर पाते हैं बट सम ब्लड टेस्ट टू चेक द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट लेवल्स क्योंकि यहाँ पे जो है वो यूरिन का आउटपुट और जैसे रिफ्लेक्स नेफ्रोपैथी की वजह से प्रॉब्लम आ सकती है तो दैट समवेयर देर इज़ अ डिस्टर्बेंस इन द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट लेवल्स एंड इंटरवीनस पाइलोग्राम अ स्पेशल एक्सरे ऑफ द किडनी ब्लड एंड यूरेटर्स हम इसमें कर सकते हैं एंड एम आर आई एंड सी टी स्कैंस डिपेंडिंग ऑन द कंडीशन ऑफ दिस कंडीशन एंड पैल्विक एक्सरे अल्ट्रासाउंड ऑफ द यूरोजाइनटल सिस्टम सर्जिकल टेक्निक्स जो इसमें इन्वॉल्व होती हैं ट्रीटमेंट के लिए फर्स्ट इज़ द मॉडिफाइड कैंट वेल टेक्निक इट इन्वॉल्व द पार्शियल डिसम्बली ऑफ द पैनिस एंड द प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द यूरेथ्रा इन द नॉर्मल पोजिशन and uh, the primary goal of the treatment of epispadiasis are to maximize the pineal length and the function by correcting the dorsal band and cordae and uh, create the functionality and uh, cosmetically acceptable external genitalia with a few surgical procedures as much possible and uh, if the bladder and bladder neck are also involved then surgical treatment is required to establish urinary continence and preserve fertility the second technique is the mitral technique it involves complete disassembly of the penis into its three separate components following disassembly the three components are disassembled such that the urethra is in the most functional and normal position and dorsal cordae is corrected surgical techniques in female the urethra and vagina may be short and near the front of the body and the clitoris is in two parts if diagnosed at birth the two parts of the clitoris can be brought together and the urethra can be placed into the normal position if repaired early enough then the lack of urinary control may not be a problem if the diagnosis is missed or if early repair is not performed then incontinence can be surgically corrected at the time of diagnosis if the vaginal opening is narrow in older girl or younger woman reconstruction can be performed after the puberty so this is all about my today's topic epispadiasis i hope aapko topic samajh mein aaya hoga apne next video lecture mein main hypospadiasis and bladder extrophy ke topic bhi discuss karungi और ऐसे ही और पीडियाटिक नर्सिंग के टॉपिक को सुनने के लिए आप मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर सकते हैं एस एस पीडियाट्रिक्स एंड थैंक यू